Hey everybody, I wanted to show you how you can turn your desktop execution trace toolkit trace into an activity diagram with a simple Python script. Uh, you can download the Python script from the web page and after that the steps that you need to take are the following. So go to your uh, actor related project. Uh, so here I have this feedback evaporative cooler example that comes with LabVIEW. You need to enable the debug trace for your actor framework, so set AF debug trace to true. Once you do that, you need to start your trace execution uh, view, point to the project that you're interested in, change the capture settings to only capture the user defined trace events. These are the ones that will be coming from actor framework, uh, those are user defined events. And once you've defined that, well, essentially we do this to make the text file, the output text file, smaller so that the scripting and parsing through it takes uh, less time. So now we can just start the trace and once we start it we get from the project a couple of uh, events, we can stop it and this is the thing that we will be essentially translating into this activity diagram. So here we go, we need to uh, essentially right now once we have this uh, trace we are done with the project from that we need to export it to a text file so export uh, previously I have saved already uh, a, a, the same project and the same uh, text file uh, so I'm just gonna overwrite it now and once you go to that uh, to that trace when you open it it turns out that it's essentially nothing else it's nothing else than just a text file that is corresponding with what we've uh, captured with that so we are interested in parsing through that text file and we can do that with the script that I provided you so to use the script we can just go to the Windows command line if we installed Python and all of the packages correctly, we should be able to do it like this. So we need to go to <coughs> we need to go to the place where we have our uh, script uh, placed. We need to copy the location and go into the command line. Type in Python like so. Provide the path here. Let me just provide the path. Uh, paste here we go quotation marks and the name of the script is afparser.py so we need to provide that afparser.py and once we click enter it will ask us to provide the path to the text file that we want to parse so this is the one that we've prepared from that we parse that file and it asks us to provide the path to the resulting text file. This is not extremely important because the same string that is in the file that is uh, output will be actually copied to your clipboard. So this is just a secondary uh, safety mechanism or, or it allows you to uh, save for future reuse. So let's save it here, overwrite this existing file and once everything is done correctly we actually get uh, our default browser is opened and it pro, um, it guides us to this page plant text so for plant uml you can type in the script that was generated and copied into your clipboard by the parser and now once you refresh you will actually see that the uh, actor diagram for all of the communication for all of the actors and for your project has been created here. Uh, if your project is big, of course, this um, image will be very large, so you might want to uh, separate the, um, the script that you get here. You, you, you might want to separate this text into smaller chunks, but essentially for all of your communication for the whole project, you get a nice looking diagram like this that is much more readable than just going through uh, that trace and trying to analyze the text that you have there. You instantly see all of the actors, you instantly see when they send messages, to who, and when those messages are actually um, handled on the other side. 
So I hope this will be useful for everybody. Remember that the this py file is just a uh, Python script. You can go inside, you can uh, look around, you can understand how it works, uh, and you can essentially modify it in any way you find useful. Uh, I've essentially used this plant UML notation and this plant UML script to generate a um, diagram like this, but if you're interested, you can generate in any generate it in any other different way. So it's just your choice. Okay, I hope you find this useful and let me know if you have any comments or you would like me to add something to it maybe.